I have been playing, you know, you remember r last words of the yeah. final? Yeah. It was like Olympic Stadium, yes. you know, it was like pretty uncomfortable, yes. but. I remember you made finals. <laughs> yes, we all, we all remember that, Huni. Thank you for dropping that. I mean, just saying, just yeah. saying, you know. <laughs>Well, we are done with the first day of the NALCS Finals and third, fourth place match here at the Fillmore in Miami. I'm joined right now by Hooney with coverage presented by Omni Slash. Talk a little bit about their clean sweep of Clutch Gaming. So Hooney, things looked a little shaky for Echo Fox for a little bit there at the end. A lot of people thought that Clutch was going to take it out today. You guys managed to cl clean sweep them. Uh, what, what allowed you to do that? Um, yeah, definitely. We changed like our mindset a lot at the same time there was a lot of time for actual practice and it was like just Tim Kid was like really good at playing game right now so that's why like we look kind of like pretty bad even though like we're definitely better than like any other team because like we have insane screen results against like 100 and CG so like definitely Tim Kid was like playing too well and actually we had a lot, a lot of problem as a team too and we actually recognized after Tim Kid and we could actually fix a lot as a team. And definitely we got better than like compared to the same finals. And that's pretty much, that's all I think. Like, that's why like, it was like pretty clean game. Even though we had some mistake, like we keep trusting our like, you know, our strength and play around that. And actually we're not afraid of any, anything at all. During the first game, uh, one of the casters was commenting on the fact that normally Echo Fox is a very like let Hooney carry the game style, but that in that game it looked like a lot of the, that responsibility had been shifted over to the other players in the other lanes. Uh, was this something that you guys tried to do? Did you try to focus on, okay, maybe it's not all about Hooney all the time, maybe it's about some of the other lanes? Um, I mean, it's just like our one of like biggest trends is like I'm putting on carry and like playing through top, yeah. you know. like. Today to game two and game three, like definitely those like playing through top, which is like I was like playing Camille. The first game, like I was like actually playing to pick Camille, but actually they just banned it. So like from there, there was no that much champion that I can bring up like carry style champs. I mean there is a lot, but what I mean is like I don't want to pull up the Asu randomly, you know. Like so definitely like they just banned it the first game. So that's why like you know. Like, it was like option two. Like option one was like just Camille, but option two was like first time Oren. Yeah. Do you feel like you all, you always had option two or is option two new? Uh, no, it's just like I have option 18, so okay. yeah, yeah. All right. So <laughs> we could have gone all the way down to 18 today, potentially. Yeah, potentially, but like it was like two clean game for us and their dog was like popping off. So they had to like put jungler ban. Like, I, I mean, like, you know, like we have never ban or like top ban, putting uh, putting ban on top. Like let's say, like everyone was just banning like Kamala and GP, like every single game. So it was, like for me, it's like really hard. it was like pretty hard for me to actually put it off. But you know, since like one of like out of two is like open, you know, that's the Huni words. You know, talk to me a little bit about. Uh, the chrono break and the pause that occurred in game three. What was that like from the Echo Fox perspective? I mean, like, I was, like, really, really frustrating about, like, this Connor most happy in free kill, you know? Yeah. But, like, I could not see, like, my champion. Like, there was only two champs that hitting Connor. Yeah. Like, I was like, where am I? So, I actually, first time I pressed Y, which is, like, you know, what is the Y? Yeah. The cap your screen where you are. And then... I pressed Y and then there was nothing. I like actually nearly like, I don't know. And then after three seconds, I just come down. And then I pause it, obviously, because yeah. like that was like pretty awful. I used like whole my resource and I don't know. I think it was a pretty fun experience. Pretty, <laughs> pretty fun experience? <laughs> because I have been first time actually being current break from me. Yeah. Also, actually, current break is like first time for me. Yeah. But like Altec was like having uh, the MF game. You know, with the monster, I yeah. think. Like, he was, like, saying, yeah, don't worry about it. We can correct. Like, yeah. you know, like, this is pretty cool. And that it's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> and next, the after Corona break, it was, like, you know, there was no way they can actually contest that, right. the red buff. Because, like, since we were playing, like, Kamil and Satch, and Azirak was, like, way more pressure against the enemy. So, definitely, it was, like, pretty free win after. Yeah. Now... 
there was a interesting story at the beginning of the split. Everyone said Echo Fox is going to explode, and then halfway through the split, everyone's like, "Stop talking about Echo Fox exploding. That's not going to happen." And then the at the exploded. end of <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes. so, uh, is that what happened? Like, what was going on? Like, why why the explosion? What what happened? Why'd you go boom? Uh, probably I'll say there was a lot meta shift, and then we couldn't follow it because you know. I guess Riot, the balance team hate me. Yeah. They decide to nerf every top champs. But you know, like I somehow I got out of it, like with a Camilo GP. You know, still like they ban G uh, they nerf GP, like they nerf a lot, of, like you know, it's public of the like Vladimir, like for example. But it feels like we just didn't at all play around like bot like before team goes boom. Yeah. <laughs> So that's why we're, like, we're pretty having a hard time that adapting about the meta, you know. Like before, like no one can, no one could contest against me that I'm playing whatever I want. This is like my worst, and definitely it was like really hard for my our team that pu putting like trigger from like source from the like any other lane because we are not used to. Yeah. So also at the same time we got like first places too easily. That what I feel. And then we kind of lost like a lot motivated and we felt kind of like cocky. Like yeah. seems like there's no any any team that actually can match us. From there I think we dropped on a lot. Yeah. Okay, so last question as we're wrapping up. You've played in massive arenas before. This venue's a little different. It's a theater, it's got it's a little bit of a different feel. What was it like for you to play in this venue, this theater today? Um yeah, I mean I have been playing, you know. You remember r last words of the yeah, final? Yeah. It was like Olympic Stadium. Yes. You know, it was like pretty uncomfortable. Yes. But I remember you made finals. <laughs> yes, we all we all remember that, Huni. Thank you for dropping that. I mean, just saying, just yeah. saying, you know. <laughs> so, you know, like this is this was like pretty cozy, and also it's like third match, was not like nervous at all. Yeah. It was like even more comfier than you know when I play regular season. Feels like it, like. Was not, I was not even like sweating my hands. Like usually I, I, I got sweaty my hands and or like feet, like getting sweat yeah. when I'm like kind of nervous, like when I take flights. Yeah. Like when you take flights? Yeah, when I take flights because I, yeah. I have- Like in the bug, like the bug today. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I was sweating yeah. that time. Yeah, because like, yeah. you know, I was air. Yes, so yes, yes, definitely yes. I was like, sweating my hands and, yeah. but yeah, from there. But today was not like sweating at all. Yeah. Like that means like, I was like just chill and, but still I like these places. Even though it's like 2,500 people, you know, it was like uh, apparently I appeared that it's like sold out, definitely. Yeah. So, you know, fans are. I hope just fan a lot of fans are actually, you know, having fun a lot. I hope, yeah. and that's all. Thank you so much, Huni, for the interview. Congratulations on the win today. Big sweep. We can do this. I don't care. Thank you so much. For everyone else, you can check out the rest of my coverage of all things esports right here on my YouTube channel. Bye. Listen, Road and I forgot to film the outros this weekend. We were going to do it at the venue. And now we're doing it on the way to the airport. Uh, so thank you so much to OmniSlash for sponsoring our coverage and flight and the Uber and everything else on the way out here. They really made it possible. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe here for more videos.